David Englert here, and today we are with Dr. Jean-Jacques Ederai, who is a dentist in the North Miami Beach Aventura area, and he is a cosmetic dentist, uh, a specialist in cosmetic dentistry. Dr. Ederai, we really appreciate you taking some time out to uh, talk with us today. Thank you for coming with us. Thank you for inviting me to your sessions here. So, Dr. Ederai, if someone were looking for a cosmetic dentist there are a lot of choices out there and a lot of things to look for and honestly if i were looking i wouldn't even know where to start so uh you're a very experienced cosmetic dentist if if someone were watching this um where would they even begin to look for a cosmetic dentist where would they start well the best advice i, I could give to all the listeners is basically to go and browse on the internet. Look for a dentist in your city, look for a few dentists, and then you will have to choose among them. And the criteria you're gonna be using for choosing them is basically gonna be based on their number one experience, number two will be the reviews, and number three, how is being developing, how is being doing throughout the years, how often this doctor goes to um, the different uh, programs that they are for upgrading their technology in their office. Hmm. Yeah, that that's, uh, that's some great advice, doctor. Um, so does it make a lot of difference when, when you're looking for a cosmetic dentist is it more important to find someone who's got a lot of years of experience in cosmetic dentistry or is, as I hear some people say, you know, I, I want to find the, the guy fresh out of school because he's got the latest and greatest of all technologies or, or is, is that, are they kind of confused maybe on, on thinking that way? Definitely. Experience is something that really makes a difference. They're different, what you're taught or what we are taught when we are in school is a different dentistry that we are today practicing. We have the basis, but every case is an individual case and is treated individually. And throughout the years, we developed some kind of a sense for inventing, improving, and innovating uh, technology, bringing new technology for patients. So. Technology is changing on a daily basis, and, 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 and it, the advances are tremendous. When I came out of the school, we never heard about uh, uh, digital radiographies, and we didn't hear about uh, producing a crown digitally, like a CEREC with a CEREC machine. We never heard about the, uh, we heard of the implants, we know about the implants, but they were not with uh, such a high rate of success as we have today. So as we are going with the time, technology changes, and it's always for the benefit of all the listeners and everybody who's looking for a dentist. So we're looking for a dentist who is probably more experienced, number one, and of course, we have to look into the technology he uses for the the problem that people have or somebody is looking for a dentist for a specific situation, we have to look for a dentist that has that experience, that is very, that is a dentist that will know what, how to develop in the different situations. So a lot of people talk about their fears of going to the dentist and I've never been afraid of the dentist, so I, it's hard for me to understand how someone could possibly be afraid of the dentist. But um, from what I understand, that that, that fear is pretty real. Um, for someone looking for a dentist, is there is there something in particular that they they should look for? That or, or what can you talk uh, to them about about being afraid of going to the dentist? Well, going to the dentist and being afraid this has been something that has been going on for ages. And as we look at the uh, history books, how they used to <laughs> how they used to treat patients at a time, and how we do today is two different things. Nevertheless, I would advise every listener to 
go and have a first visit with a dentist. Go to the dentist you think that after you browse on the internet, you found two, three, four of them, make an appointment, a consultation appointment, and your feelings for the first, during the first four minutes are the ones that are going to develop the confidence you may have on the practitioner. The development of that confidence is going to go throughout life. And that's how we have our, our patients. We try to develop that confidence so the fears that they may have, they may have heard from their neighbors, from their peers, from their family members, that should be completely erased and that should be completely anew for something that would be pleasant to them. Yeah, that's great advice. Um, so Dr. Ederai, I'm sure that we will have viewers watching uh, this interview right now and they're thinking to themselves, well, you know, I really, I really liked what he had to say and I would really like to go and, and visit Dr. Ederai at his office. So what kind of experience would those folks expect to get coming to your office? Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure. First of all, the first visit, the first consultation is a free consultation appointment. So they should, they should have the freedom of coming over without any compromise with me, any type of whatever they're going to see is what they're going to get. So I would, that's why I, I, I give this free consultation appointment to my patients. So they come, they meet me, they meet the staff, they see the technology we use for their needs and all these components well, that's what will make definitely the, 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 the factor that will influence them into choosing to do their treatment in this office or the office of their choice. And Dr. Adara, you mentioned technology. You mentioned something about a machine called a CEREC, and, and I've heard of that machine before. Can you maybe talk a little bit about some of the technology that you use in your office and, and how it can benefit a patient? Sure. Well, we have the CEREC machine that, as you mentioned, I mentioned before, you mentioned again. Basically, the CEREC is, is a computerized system that there is today available. It's in order to fabricate those porcelain crowns that they used to be for like two weeks. We had to take the, prepare the tooth, make temporary crowns, and then send it to the lab and wait for the lab to respond with those crowns made like after two, three weeks. And these tireless appointments to the patients are very consequential because sometimes the lab may have some distortions in the impressions we took. So it may sometimes we need to retake the impressions because we, because we saw that what the outcome was not as precise as we expected for our patients. And the most precise technology available today is this CAD CAM, this computerized system in order to make the CEREC crowns, what we call the CEREC crowns, which is porce pressed porcelain, made out of pressed porcelain. And they happen to be 114% stronger than your natural tooth. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason we give, I give to my patients a lifetime warranty for every crown we make here. We stand by on a lifetime warranty because we know that the technology we use is the best there is available. The crowns that we'll have are going to be the strongest one they're going to have. And, they're gonna, and, and there is available in the dental field. Right. And that's, we are approximately 17% of the dentists in America who has this technology. That's fantastic. Um, you had mentioned, uh, as I talked to you before the interview, that uh, some patients coming in can get some cosmetic dentistry done and, and have a completely new smile made over in just a couple of visits. Uh, how is that possible? Well, we have different technologies. As I said, for grounds, we could design a smile and a patient that comes in the morning and leaves in the afternoon already with a full new smile uh, made out of from crowns, obviously, because it depends upon the, 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 the condition of the patient. 
Uh, we have the other ones that are lumineers, which are veneers. And for somebody who has, with minimal uh, 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 minimal touch to your natural tooth structure, we will be able to design the smile. The first, these lumineers, in two short visits, basically the first visit is approximately 45 minutes where we take impressions, we take, in, uh, we take uh, x-rays, and, uh, and basically we touch minimal areas that, uh, that may interfere with the lumineers. And then the second appointment is about an hour, I would say, where we go ahead and we place those lumineers. And uh, the patients, they live very happy. I am very happy because I'm satisfied with the, with the beauty of a smile. I'm satisfied that I'm delivering, and the patient is very smile because his dream has come true. Fantastic. Well, folks, if you watch this interview and you would like to get in touch with Dr. Ederai, you can reach him by calling 305-947-7999, or you can check him out on his website, which is North Miami Beach Dentist. Dot com. And Dr. Adirai, we, we really appreciate this advice. It's been very enlightening uh, listening to you talk. And folks, we will we'll see you here uh, for another episode real soon. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.